Man, I'm excited for this one. I know it's nothing crazy, but it's still controversial. I know y'all been watching Deion Sanders. There should have been coach at Auburn put on the show. First game beat TCU. Auburn did win their game in very convincing fashion, which is cool. But I still wanted Deion, and I still feel like they should have went after Deion. But I understand there was a whole lot of politicking that went into that decision. But that's the past video. We on to this video. We're talking about the transfer portal. Man, the transfer portal has been going crazy ever since they changed the rule. I want to say Auburn had over 40-something new players and Colorado had over 80-something. Like, it's a lot of movement in college sports now. And back when I was in college, I definitely considered transferring at one point. I don't know if I ever said that before on the channel, but um, I definitely considered it two different stages of my career. My freshman year, when I first got there in the summer, I felt like the system was not going to be beneficial to me. And that was true to some degree. It was a guard-oriented system, and I'm a big man. And they weren't really focused on developing the bigs and getting the bigs involved. Uh, it was more so set screens and roll hard. Uh, if you get it, you get it. If you don't, go get the rebound. And, you know, I decided to stick it out, and I got to my senior year, and I was looking back on it. Like uh, I said, if I got hurt or I did redshirt my freshman year and I would be able to do a fifth year transfer, if I would have transferred or not. And I thought maybe I would have, but then looking back on it, I'm glad that that didn't happen because it wouldn't have been good because Hampton became a home for me. The coaching staff took care of me during my injured year zero season, if y'all remember. And yeah, Hampton was a huge part of my life and I'm glad that I stuck it out all four years there. Made lifelong friends with players, coaches, staff, students. Like Hampton was great to me. But for a lot of people, I understand that's not their journey. That's not the type of situation they walk into. They go to a school where they don't fit. The coaches don't really want them after they see what they can do. It's not really a good fit for either side. They might be getting treated poorly. It might not be what they thought they signed up for because coaches do be selling dreams now. They will tell you one thing, and when you get there, it's a completely different thing. So I get that too. But the big issue that I have with the transfer portal is that one a lot of people are transferring and not finding a better situation. And two, a lot of people are transferring for the wrong reasons. But back to the first reason. I got this uh, sent to me a while back when I came with the idea for the episode. It says that 817 of 1,815 D1 players that entered the transfer portal this year have not found a new home. This was months ago. This was in the off season. But that's crazy. That's what, uh, 45%? 45% of the players that are transferring are transferring to nowhere. They're just not finding a home. And a lot of people think that they're so good, they, they can find a home anywhere, but it's supply and demand. So you had the COVID year that already made the system a little messed up with people having extra years, so they gave less spots for incoming people. But then you also add in the fact that everybody can transfer, and you got NIL where people can entice people to leave, and it's just a whole lot of supply out there. So the demand shrinks very rapidly. So if you think you're going to find a home, at some point, it's going to be no more demand for you. Even if you are a good player, it's going to be tough to go to a spot that you really want to go and somewhere you can fit. But in other cases, it does work out. They go and they play for a coach that believes in them. The system fits them perfectly. It's a great fit all around, and they have a good rest of their career. But half the time or most of the time, it ain't necessarily that great. They either get to a similar situation or a situation that was actually worse. For example, if I'm this highly touted uh, player that goes to this school and the system I see doesn't fit me, then I transfer to this other school and I see that maybe the system fits me, but I hate the coaching staff or I, I just hate living on the campus. Like, There's always going to be some trade-offs in any situation. So that brings me to my second point on why the transfer portal is broken and why it's so bad is that people are transferring for the wrong reasons. You shouldn't just transfer because a situation is tough. If you don't want to beat out someone for a starting spot, if you don't want to work hard, if you don't want to learn new things about your sport, be open to learning different ways to play your sport, then you're not going to be successful anyway. You have to have it within you to have a good work ethic, someone that's not going to give up, that pushes through the tough times to be successful in sports, period. So if that's the reason why you're transferring, because it's too hard, something you don't really like, then you're not going to be successful. And you're talking about 17 to 23-year-old young adults. You're at a stage in your life where you're learning so much about yourself and the world and how to be an adult. And you need to be trying to use those years to practice for being an adult. Because anybody tell you, 
once you an adult and you out here adulting, it ain't fun. <laughs> adulting is not as fun as you thought it would be as a little kid. Everybody was like, man, I can't wait to be grown. I can't wait to grow up. When you grow up, it ain't what you think it's going to be. But for real, like college is a time where you can develop so many great traits and habits. Like I was saying, being able to develop that work ethic, those times being able to persevere, learn how to work with different people, see people from different cultures and placements. Like it's a time to get better for life. Sports is amazing. Sports changed my life. But the best thing I got from sports, playing basketball, and back in my days I played baseball and football, was the life lessons. I learned so many great life lessons throughout my years of playing sports, in all sports. So many things that apply to life. And people always wonder how I am the way I am, why I look at things the way I do. I just learn from everything I've been through. And sports is a great simulator for life. Those times of adversity, when your true character is revealed, it shows up in life. You have a rough patch in a season. Things aren't going well for you. How you respond in those moments builds character. It shows you the character of the people around you as well, whether it's your teammates, your coaches, the fans around you. It just shows you, like, the people around you, you got to be able to communicate with them. The, your superiors, when things get tough, they're going to put more pressure on you. you got to be able to handle that pressure. The outside noise has to stay outside noise because they'll be here with you when you're up, but they'll try to go away when you're down. All those things I learned from sticking out my situation and trying to persevere through every obstacle. And if you're out here just running away from your problems, you transferring because things are hard, then you're not going to be successful in life. And that's a whole lot more important than sports. Because you can play your college sports for four or five years. And you might be able to play a little bit professionally. But you got so much more life to live after that. So everything you're doing in those years is a chance to get a trial run at it. You want to use that time to get better, not just run away to find comfort. You have to be able to find comfort in being uncomfortable. Like I said, a transfer portal is definitely good for some people that are in bad situations. They got finessed into, coaches lied to them, or coaches left and they have to find a new home. But a lot of times, kids are transferring for the wrong reasons. So if you're one of those people out there thinking about transferring, make sure you're doing it for the right reasons. And make sure that you're looking at college the right way. It's not just about your sports. It's about life. And what you're doing in these four or five years is going to stay with you for the rest of your life. That's it, man. Episode over. Hope you guys enjoyed today's content. Brought it to you as soon as I could. Been getting settled out here in my new place overseas in Portugal. As you guys saw, I'm overseas in here. So I'm going to be trying to get these podcasts out every week. Also trying to get some other content out on the social media. So stay tuned for that too. Love you guys as always. That support me. Like, subscribe, follow on all the social medias. Do what you guys do because you all the best subscribers I've ever seen. And the only subscribers I've ever seen.